All right, starting out, I want to go ahead and disclaimer myself. Using this method, you will get your CS lowered, but CS does not equal damage in this game. But I do want to give a shout out to Thorn. He's an up and coming Tower of Fantasy content creator. So let's go ahead, subscribe to his channel. Let's at least get him a thousand subscribers. And I'll leave a link down in the description to his channel. But the original creator of this trick is a Reddit user by the name of Angel Zodiac. And I'm going to break down in this video what he does so that way you can maximize your damage in Tower of Fantasy. So let's take a look at Angel Zodiac's post and he was nice enough to include a chart so this is going to help you get the most power out of each module. So looking at this chart you can tell that gloves are your highest priority but there are some levels to where you can get more power upgrading other pieces of gear. But for a quick summary of what you should try to aim for, I went ahead and made an order of enhancement. But again, if you want the absolute best power for each module, I recommend that you look at Angel Zodiac's chart. So ideally, you're trying to get your gloves to level 35. Then you want to try to get your other pieces of gear to level 10 for the set bonus. Then you want to concentrate on your boots, your spalders, and your bracers, and you want to aim for 25. And then after that, you want to try to level up your helm to 25. So well, this is currently what my gear is at right now. We need to downgrade our pants, our belt, and our chest piece. And what you need to do that is you need a green piece of gear of each of those pieces. So as you see, I do not have any green pieces of gear of pants, belt, or chest piece. So how you get that is you go to the commissary, buy a fine equipment box, and I need three since I need three pieces of gear. And now once I have this box, I can now choose the pieces that I want. So now let's start getting those advancement modules and booster modules back. But before I start this trick, one thing I recommend is that you lock all of your gear so that way you don't accidentally destroy it. So now that everything's locked, we want to transfer our enhancements to our green pieces of gear. Once you transferred all the pieces to your green gear, go ahead and remove it. Then you want to hit recycle. Then you can just choose all the green gear and then to go ahead and drop it in here. Then you hit recycle again. And then if you notice, now I'm getting back all of my advancement modules and my booster modules that I use to level up gear that's not so helpful to power up my character. So we go ahead and press okay. I get all those back. If you found this helpful so far, I would greatly appreciate a like so this can spread to more people on YouTube. And now I can re-equip my previous gear. And as you see, my chest piece, my belt, and my pants are zero, but that's what we want. Now I can enhance my gloves, so we can go ahead and get that to 35. Then I'll go ahead and enhance the rest of my gear according to Angel's chart. Now you can look and see what my new gear looks like. I downgraded my chest piece, my pants, and my belt to 14, but now I have my gloves at 35, my helm's 24, my bracers are 24, but my shoulders are 26, and my boots are 29. So now that I updated my gear, I now have over 10,000 crit rate. And what this means is now I can crit 65% of the time, allowing me to do a lot more damage than I previously was. Well, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If so, check out my progression guide series to where I give daily tips slash mistakes to avoid in Tower of Fantasy. I also have a Discord to where we give out daily code, so make sure to join that. But other than that, talk with you guys later.